Your most requested video is here. What's up Android fans? Tech and Me is back. And this time we're going to show you how to install a custom ROM. Let's get to it. Okay, in installing a custom ROM, the first thing you need is rooting your device. The link is going to be down in the description below on how to root your phone. Uh, the second thing is going to be backing up your home replacement or home screen. You want to you want to go into your launcher settings, that is ADW Launcher Pro Go Go Launcher whatever it is. Go into your launcher, go into backup, and backup settings and backup desktop configuration. That's what you want to do first. Next, you want to go to Titanium Backup. This is the best backing up device, backing up all your apps and your personal data and everything. So it's asking for super super user permissions and we, we're going to click allow and then we're going to wait. Okay, so we have Titanium Backup all rooted up and ready to go. If you have any problems, just click on problems and it'll download BusyBox and it'll all be set. So once you have Titanium Backup, go to Backup and Restore on top. Once you go into Backup, press Menu, then press Batch. Now wait. Now what you want to do is back up all user apps. Not all system data, not all backup user apps and system data. Or you can do this too, this third one. But you, I prefer just backing up all your user apps. So basic, basically you back up all your user apps. You run the backup and you run batch operation. Let's run it. Alright, once it's done backing up, it's still backing up right for me right now. But once it's done backing up, what you want to do is go into ROM Manager. In ROM Manager, what you want to do is click on Flashwork Mod Recovery. This is the third step. Flashwork Mod Recovery. Uh, yeah. And then Confirm Model. Once you're done, allow and successfully flash clockwork mod recovery. Once you fl successfully flash clockwork mod recovery, God, it's so hard, hard to pronounce. Anyways, once you're done with that, you want to download a ROM. Finally, you go to download a ROM. This way, it'll download the ROM that you want for your phone. So we can ba we can download CyanogenMod, mod, the most popular one. We wait. You want to download a stable release right over there. You don't want to download a release candidate. Sometimes it might have some glitches. So once you download a ROM, or you can even download MIUI, which I am running. And wait, 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 wait. There you go, MIUI. So whatever you want to download, let's download this, okay? You want to have Wi-Fi to download it. Download. Once it's done let downloading, what you want to do is wipe data. Make sure you did do that. Backup existing ROM, wipe data and cache, and wipe Dalvik cache. You want to do all three steps and click OK. All right. Once we're done, now what it does is, well now what it does is it reboots into recovery. You let it reboot. It's a, it takes about 10 minutes to 15 minutes. You let it reboot into recovery and you let it erase everything and then it erase the cache and then the Dalvik cache and then it'll install the custom ROM and then reboot again. So you want to let it do all that. Once it's done, it'll be all set and ready to go. That's one way of installing a custom ROM. Second way is installing from an SD card. So if you already have it, if you uh, if you download the ROM and put it on your SD card from the computer, install ROM from SD card. Now what it does is shows you your SD card stuff. You go into the ROM. I have my ROMs here in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Download ROM, and there you have it. There I have it. Whatever you want, you click on that, and then again it gives you these options. So that's the second way. The third way is called an Android backup. This is without using ROM Manager. This way is the toughest, basically. The easiest is using ROM Manager. For this, 
you need to go to ROM manager or you can just switch off your phone holding the down button but I prefer doing this go to ROM manager and go to reboot into recovery and click OK now we wait let it reboot into recovery keep waiting keep waiting all right it's done rebooting into recovery this is how recovery looks like so here we have these options as you can see so I've zoomed in here we can re reboot the system apply update which we don't want to do wipe data and factory reset which we don't want to do and wipe cache and wipe Dalvik cache okay and install zip from SD card so ROM custom ROMs come in zip format so basically first thing you want to do is wipe your cache you click the power button to select so you select wipe cache you go down you go to wipe cache you wait shows you wiping cache complete next you want to do is go to advanced wipe Dalvik cache second from the top click the power button again to select use the volume rockers to go down and up wait wait sometimes it takes longer to wipe Dalvik cache all right we select wipe Dalvik cache third from whatever everything is no select using the power button done now what you want to do is go back and then you want to do wipe data factory reset if you're installing the ROM for the first time if you're just updating your ROM then you don't need to do this wipe data will re uh, erase everything from your phone don't worry we have it all backed up through titanium backup after you're done with that we want to go to install zip from SD card install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card next second one from the top wait now we have all the stuff on the SD card you go down to I I have mine in clockwork mod so we want to search for clockwork mod keep searching keep scrolling down 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 and right over there we passed it clockwork mod recovery all right downloads whatever folder it's in and mine is in ROM U M I U I I think yeah there you go there I have it right over there now I click the power button and it'll install the zip from the SD card I don't want to do that so I'm gonna go back so once you click that back 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 once you're done with that it reboots the phone automatically and then you wait wait for about five to ten minutes again and it'll finish rebooting sometimes it takes five sometimes it takes ten sometimes it takes lesser so once we're re done rebooting our phone will be ready to go that's it that's how easy it is it's not so hard it might sound too complicated but once you get used to it it'll be easy all right hope you guys help hope it helped you guys and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye.